everyone out there in YouTube land, this is Bradley Allen Hingley, coming at you live once again from my apartment. As you can tell from the background, it's just another room, than where I usually make my videos from. This video is concerning racism. I watched a video on a channel, YouTube channel, uh, Sinatra was the name of the YouTube channel, as in Frank Sinatra. It's a pretty good channel. I like it. And the title of the video was SJW wants white people to not be able to call 911 for a month. And he was talking about an article that was written by another white person, by the way, saying how white people always call the cops on blacks when they're just, I don't know, barbecuing or sleeping in a uh, dorm common area or something like that. But the instances that he's talking about in the article that Sinatra was reading, he forgets to mention how in the case of the common room area, the black person falls asleep in the common room area, they had broken in to a dormitory where they did not belong and passed out because they were drunk. Someone breaks into my home and passes out. First thing I'm doing is taking their money. Not because they're black, but because I'm charging them rent for that night. Second thing I'm doing is waking them up and telling them to get the hell out. Or they can go to jail. Or if they try to fight me, I will bury them. Because we have a right in this country under the Second Amendment. That I've seen a light streak on my nose, I guess not. To protect what is ours. And by any means possible, I will protect mine. But it talks about, the article is talking about how no matter what, whites call the cops on blacks for nothing. Even went so far as to say how white people have become a culture, a society of rats and not. Now, the person writing the article was white. Okay, so he's a self-hating white man. I can understand that. Seems like all SJWs are self-hating white people. In the joint, in prison, they have another word for it. It's not self-hating, it's race-trading. You'd rather be a black man, so you hate your race. You've traded your race. I'm white. I'm proud of it. How I love being white. And I tell you this from the bottom of my heart, and I mean it. I hate cops. I don't call the cops on anyone for a fucking thing. Never have, never will. I prefer to settle things with these right here. With my hands and my feet. In a good old fashioned 
knock down, drag out, street fight. And I know I'm not the only white man who prefers that. But the problem is, and it's not just me saying it, you can look at the statistics. Black people won't fight you. They'll pull a gun. They'll shoot you. They'll pull a knife. They'll stab you. But they won't fight you. Unless there's six of their homies with them against one white man. Then they'll fight. Because they got the upper hand. Or so they think. But to get back to the topic. If white people can't call the 911 for the for a month, that's going to result in gun cells going up, white militias being formed. And you know, as soon as a white militia is formed, they're going to put whatever, whatever they're formed on martial law, white only martial law. Uh, it's going, they're going to become racist. It's just going to happen because, hey, it's racism. Why well, we can't call 911, so we're going to give the niggers, this is how they'll take, we'll give the niggers a taste, a taste of their own medicine. They want to be racist to us, we'll be racist to them. Let's see how it turns out. It's exactly what they'll think. And it won't be good. Has the person who wrote that article never seen the movie The Purge or The the Purge Anarchy or the series on USA The Purge? It gets violent when there's no emergency services. It gets very violent when there's no law. Shoot, look at the Walking Dead scenario. No law, no government, and people are literally killing people. So, where's the logic at with the guy who wrote the article? That's not true, sweetie. I don't know. And that... It's the same argument that Sinatra made. It's a true argument. You know, black people are real quick to yell racism on anything a white man does to a black man. Be it he beat him in sports, so he's a racist. Or... He won in a political office. Well, it's racist. The white man got promoted and the black man didn't, and that's because the people and human resources and the higher ups are all racist. Doesn't matter if the people and human resources and the higher ups are all black, Latin American, or something like that. Nope, they're racist against black people. Give me a break. SJWs are just trying to find another way that they can play the victim. Well, I've got a humdinger of an idea for the SJWs. It's logical and it's a hell of an idea. You ready? You ready? You ready for this? How about for a month, you don't play the damn victim? For anything. Take responsibility for what you've done. Not for supposed crimes that happened 200 years ago. But for what you've done in the here and now. Because truth be told, there ain't a person alive today. Who lived through slavery. There's barely anyone alive today who lived through Jim Crow. The fact that black people scream out racism and Jim Crow and 
Motherfuckers are younger than I am. They're screaming about that. And I never went through Jim Crow. Never even saw it. I saw racism. Growing up in Texas, till I was 13, I had crosses burned on my lawn. Because I was friends with black people. Hell, most of my friends down there in Texas were black. Or Mex legal Mexican immigrants. That's the God's honest truth. So how about this, black people? You want us not to be able to call 911 for a month? Well, you can cry racism, discrimination, or be a victim for a month. You know what would happen with that? CNN, MSNBC, and the mainstream news media would wither and die. Because they wouldn't have anything to, to put on the air. Other than, oh, Trump this, Trump that, Trump, 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 collusion, collusion, Trump, collusion, Trump, collusion. Which we all know is a big fat lie anyway. So, the person who wrote the article evidently did not think it through. And, the person who wrote the article is clearly a white guy. Clearly, defending black people, which is, hey, that's all good. But here's the thing. He's defending black people like so many SJWs do. Like, black people can't fight their own battles. Black people can't defend themselves. Black people are children and the white person has to defend them. Well, I know a lot of black dudes and black women who will whoop your ass intellectually, emotionally, mentally, physically, spiritually. They would whoop your ass. Black people, contrary to what SJWs and Democrats think, black people are smart. They can and will defend themselves. So, think about that. I, all you rich, gated community living, not a white, not a black man in the community Rich bitch, never work for nothing. Mommy and daddy give you anything and everything, and you still live in their basement at 38 or 28. Scumbag libtards. Need to grow up, do some research online. I mean, damn, it ain't hard to find out the truth. And then, move out of mommy and daddy's home and see how people truly live. Move out of mommy and daddy's house, get a job, work 40 hours a week or more just to pay the rent and the bills. You won't like it, but that's life. Life does not give you what you want. It hook you up with what you need, but not what you want. Not all the time. So, once again, I am asking for the SJWs to please think before you type or put 
anything out there on the internet. The internet is like writing it down on diamonds. It's out there forever. So you throw it away. Doesn't mean 200 years from now it won't be found. And people read it and say, damn, this person was a dumbass. I don't see how he got to be as old as he did when he wrote this. And I don't see how our children will be able to graduate from any school and compete in the global market system with things as they are now. But these are just my thoughts on it. I I've seen the movie The Purge and all that. I firmly believe that if five people can't call 911 for a month, it will be a civil war. It will be anarchy. And unfortunately, a lot of black people will die because of it. Because they will say, you want us to not respond to white people? Well, if a white person sees a black man start a fire that burns down a building or two, and they call 911, and the guy says, oh, sorry, you're white, I can't help you, goodbye, and hangs up. Everyone in those buildings just lost their homes, everything they own, possibly their lives. Why? Because a black man started a fire and a white man tried to call it in. Or it'd go this route. 911, how may I take your call? Yes, I've been stabbed. Yes, the gentleman just ran up and stabbed me three times in my chest. My, my right lung is filling up with fluid. I'm having trouble breathing. He stabbed me four times in my left lung. I can't, uh, I'm having trouble breathing there. He stabbed me twice in the neck and twice. 27 times in the face. I'm bleeding to death. I need some of the police come to the corner of Sycamore and Washington Avenue to help so I can live. Uh, sir, are you white? Yes, I am, but if you don't come to help me, I'm gonna die. Well, I'm sorry, sir. I can't help you. White people aren't allowed to call this number. You should know that, sir. But I need help, otherwise I'm gonna die. Well, I can't help you, sir. Have a nice day. Click. But wait a minute, wait a minute, I need help. I'm dying here, I need help. White man dies. Two hours later, in the same area, 900 white people get together with brand new guns and form the white the proud white army. W-P-A. Or the P-W-W-A. Proud white Americans army or something like that. Anyway. And they go into the neighborhood where the gentleman was stabbed and killed. And they will be here, a couple of kids talking about how, yep, it was great how that guy called 911 and couldn't have anyone come and help him. Just another honky that we won't have to deal with anymore. Oh, really? Well, that honky was my friend. <laughs> Open up with semi-auto weapons. Pop, 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 pop. Everybody that's in there on the white militia side is popping off. You see the black person who was running his mouth about how they killed a white man and got away with it. Their bodies are joking and contorting and twisted and they got a look of 
Holy shit, I didn't think that would ever happen on their face. When the truth is, that is exactly what will happen if you take away a white person's means of employment. Or anything else. When you take away a white person's means to defend themselves by calling the cops, the white person takes the law into his own hands and becomes a vigilante and kills the black man. Or the Puerto Rican, or the Asian, or the orange with yellow polka dots, six heads and two sets of genitalia each. It happens. And when that happens, when whites get together under those circumstances, when blacks get together un under those circumstances, Asians, it doesn't matter. When people get together under those circumstances, what follows next is a group that says they are all about pride of their nation un by any means, and they go out and they kill people. Namely, yes, namely African American or whatever. But here's another point of that Sinatra made that I find very true because I've looked into it. Now, this guy doesn't want white people to be, to be able to call 911 because, oh, well, they call it on blacks all the time for just barbecuing in the street, you know, in the park. Not so. A few have, a few have, but it's not so for every white person. That's the first file I see of that logic. The second thing that if they do that and they make it a law, don't they realize what's going to happen? White people are just going to start killing black people. They'll shoot them, they'll hang them, they'll beat them to death, but they'll be dead. And thus the population will be smaller, easier to control, easier to manage. Now, SJWs are crazy in the fact that they just don't seem to care about their own race. What they care about is getting their fascist, socialistic ideas pushed through, no matter what. Well, you try that around any two white people, you're going to get hurt. We might talk you, try to talk you out of it, but eventually... You will get punched in the face. But the thing is, is, you know, what this guy who's white is talking is, he's saying a lot of the same things about whites that if you listen to him, you can just reverse the word white with Jew. And you got word for word what the few was saying to Texas, you know, to America. You know, a lot of Nazis came here with the same Nazi ideology, but over time they changed. Or they were busted or went to Nuremberg, in which case then they would die. They died. But the thing is, the truth is still the truth. You try to make it where whites can't call 911. Whites will buy guns, buy up all the ammunition, all the crossbows and bows and, it, and arrows and arrowheads and weird looking little round balls that you can play jacks with and chemical warf biological warfare that you can make a lot of it at home. So, you 
but you know this video is getting a lot longer than I expected it would so for now I'm going to sign off and say you know please go and watch Sinatra's channel you know he's not paying me to give him a shout out I just stand because that's where the SJW article is at. The video is SJW doesn't want people to call 911 for a month. Go and read it and then do some yawn about it. I think it will surprise you and not in a good way, but rather in a way that will make you say, What? the hell is wrong with these people? What the hell is wrong with this country? When did we go from a nation, a country of pulling yourself up by your own bootstraps and moving on? Working hard, taking your vitamins, putting in the work to get somewhere. It's considered steroid or drug use. So, until next time, this is Brother Alan Hingley saying, have a nice day may, or night, whatever you believe in. May it bless and keep you. Be safe, and as always, pray for, our, for the elected officials, especially Donald John Trump and his family and Mike Pence and his family. And, again, as usual, love your country, but don't trust your government. Goodbye.